Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a couple of words by Oswald Chambers. The first one is titled, The Impoverished Ministry of Jesus. Where then do you get that living water? John 4, verse 11. The well is deep, and even a great deal deeper than the Samaritan woman knew. John 4, verse 11. Think of the depths of human nature and human life. Think of the depth of the wells in you. Have you been limiting or impoverishing the ministry of Jesus to the point that he is unable to work in your life? Suppose that you have a deep well of hurt and trouble inside your heart, and Jesus comes and says to you, Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, verse 1 Would your response be to shrug your shoulders and say, But, Lord, the well is too deep, and even you can't draw up quietness and comfort out of it. Actually, that is correct. Jesus doesn't bring anything up from the wells of human nature. He brings them down from above. We limit the Holy One of Israel by remembering only that we have allowed Him to do for us in the past and also by saying, Of course, I cannot expect God to do this particular thing the thing that approaches the very limits of his power, is the very thing we as disciples of Jesus ought to believe he will do. We impoverish and weaken his ministry in us the moment we forget he is almighty. The impoverishment is in us, not in him. We will come to Jesus for him to be our comforter or our sympathizer, but we refrain from approaching him as our almighty God. The reason some of us are such poor examples of Christianity is that we have failed to recognize that Christ is almighty. We have Christian attributes and experiences but there is no abandonment or surrender to Jesus Christ. When we get into difficult circumstances, we impoverish his ministry by saying, of course, he can't do anything about this. We struggle to reach the bottom of our own well, trying to get water for ourselves. Beware of sitting back and saying, it can't be done. You will know it can be done if you will look to Jesus. The well of your incompleteness runs deep, but make the effort to look away from yourself and to look toward him. And the next one is titled, Do You Now Believe? By this we believe, Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? John 16, verses 30 and 31. Now we believe, but Jesus asks, Do you? Indeed the hour is coming that you will leave me alone. John 16, verses 31 through 32. Many Christian workers have left Jesus Christ alone and yet tried to serve him out of a sense of duty, or because they sense a need as a result of their own discernment. The reason for this is actually the absence of the resurrection life of Jesus. Our soul has gotten out of intimate contact with God by leaning on our own religious understanding. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 This is not deliberate sin, and there is no punishment attached to it. But once a person realizes how he has hindered his understanding of Jesus Christ and caused uncertainties, sorrows, 
and difficulties for himself, it is with shame and remorse that he has to return. We need to rely on the resurrection life of Jesus on a much deeper level than we do now. We should get in the habit of continually seeking his counsel on everything instead of making our own common sense decisions and then asking him to bless them. He cannot bless them. It is not in his realm to do so. And those decisions are severed from reality. If we do something simply out of a sense of duty, we are trying to live up to a standard that competes with Jesus Christ. We become a prideful, arrogant person, thinking we know what to do in every situation. We have put our sense of duty on the throne of our life instead of enthroning the resurrection life of Jesus. We are not told to walk in the light of our conscience or in the light of a sense of duty, but to walk in the light as He is in the light. 1 John 1 verse 7 When we do something out of a sense of duty, it is easy to explain the reasons for our actions to others. But when we do something out of obedience to the Lord, there can be no other explanation, just obedience. That is why a saint can be so easily ridiculed and misunderstood. And that is the end of these words by Oswald Chambers. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him. Walk in obedience. Abide in him and he will abide in you. You all have a blessed day and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.